look at this. Isn't this the coolest thing ever? So I have here a little scene uh, with a grease pencil Suzanne and also some 3D objects. Uh, in order to understand all the complexity here, uh, we will first need to do it on the flat 2D object. So, uh, we want to have some uh, vertices to work with and we need to store it in the vertex group like this. So, we add a vertex group here and name it weights like this. Right. So, here uh, we will now add the vertex weight modifier and select it here and here we need to have the empty this one object selected and now um, so the the first thing we want to see something dramatic so uh, maybe yeah use this and in influence we need to also set weights like this and now when we move the empty we can see it is affected um, the next thing yeah maybe let's let's just try something um, like this so uh, this was just the location maybe if we use the rotation and I will pick a higher number like this you can see we are with the movement we are affecting the monkey but uh, we can go step further select here um, and let's just reset this end value to zero right click and we will add a driver and now here we can use empty so the average scale of empty will be affecting the end parameter of this so select this one and now you can control it all in the viewport and if you want in the offset uh, you can control every other parameter so let's just reset this one and let's maybe add a driver uh, again pick empty and let it be rotation right like this and now we can see we can further complicate things all right uh, you can also use this with other modifiers so instead of offset which I will disable right now uh, you can use noise and also uh, select it like this maybe have a little more dramatic value here and maybe some noise scale like this and now you can affect it like this um, every parameter is tweakable so um, you can come up with some cool effects uh, which just works with this works with um, with thickness uh, works with uh, tint works, works with opacity and so on uh, so let's now further complicate things with the 3D scene so this works a little different uh, first we need to add another grease pencil object for the lines and select scene line art like this and in order okay first thing uh, also enable in front uh, so because we will be displacing this uh, we don't want strokes to be occluded by mesh so this needs to be checked and if you lose this menu because you uh, click something else you can come down here and do it like this right uh, to see things better uh, and I'm all I'm saying in the viewport uh, view go here and choose flat and also if you have outline disable it now when you when you check this uh, you will just have the line art right okay let's see now um, 
didn't I? I have them. So where is? Okay, let's maybe just add a plane here and uh, subdivide it a little. just so we have some more geometry to work with and now when I put this into the flat view uh, yeah it is like this uh, you can also control the crease value here in if you want to see more lines like this okay now again uh, to put some effects on it uh, first we need the um, vertex group like this like we added before with the Suzanne double click by the way in this corner you can see exactly what I'm doing with the mouse and the keyboard all right so the next thing would be come here and in the line art you also need to put weights here and now we have some so so this is now those lines are stored in the vertex group so now when we add this one same as before weights here empty there and here we said we want to have a driver so we can control everything from the viewport right a driver here select empty and here average scale like this and now we are ready to do some crazy things with modifiers so let's pick offset and i want to first create the whirlwind effect and that would be rotating by z like this oh this is yeah this is randomized so this will destroy it uh maybe like this and here we want to also have some weights affecting it let's see yeah it works great okay and we can put it like this uh, you will see here that the lines are straight uh, maybe we want to have more geometry to work with so um, you would come here and before the vertex wind we want to have the simplify like this and we want to put it to sample and put this a little lower so now we have some nice geometry to work with and now we can go like this you will also notice that um, the center of the whirlwind it is actually increasing the um, so it's, it's going like this if we check it like here pick the empty and I move the empty you will see the the center is always in the center but it's not moving with the uh, yeah with the empty and uh, with line art we can do this because it is always projected from the camera and um, yeah we with regular grease pencil or other objects we cannot do this with constraints so there is uh, no elegant solution to ju just move the object center instead of the mesh so here we can do the copy location and select empty like this and now you will see oh oops empty like this now you will see when we move the empty the center moves with it or that is no because I picked wrong because I shouldn't be on the empty doing this but on the line art Jesus copy location again empty yeah yeah that's it increase the diameter and you can do it like this all right you can do many more 
fun effects. Uh, so let's check them out. Uh, let's go to line art again to here and instead of this one, let's maybe randomize positions like this. So now the empty is displacing or yeah, destroying things like let's see like explosions. Right. Okay. Uh you can do it also. Um uh, Let's see, uh, scale. Yeah, also pretty straightforward. Uh, just tweak the parameters and uh, you can come up with uh, some very cool effects like this. Uh, maybe we could also try the tint modifier like this. Um, influence weights and here we will choose the this one but for this we need to be in the shaded view um, and for this I will also oh using the um, yeah we want to switch the renderer to to workbench and have the same settings okay um, again this is affecting how much the scene will change maybe put more dramatic values like this so to see better you can see it is wherever I move it it affects the coloring of the scene um, thickness same story um, you want to have it like this but also you need to use the factor here and now you see uh, this will go to one and everything else will be uh, the minimum uh, so so it's always uh, it's almost invisible so uh, to fix this we can just add another thickness and uh, scale it up like this so now we can see everything nicely and have Maybe also here you can um, now change to have just a little minimum value. Okay, like this. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, have fun exploring. And by the way, um, this is the guy who created the line art. He's also um, actively developing it, it further. Uh, it is uh, from 2.93 to to the state where now um, it is already a lot faster and um, yeah you have a lot more options it would be nice of you if you could buy if you can afford uh, just buy this guy a coffee or two all right see you in another ciao